Hey guys, what's up? I'm Nicole and I want to welcome you to my channel. Um, so, I recently did a video where I talked to you guys about the weirdest phobias that I've come across. There are more weirder ones out there. But, um, today I'm going to do part two. Two. And, uh, I'm just going to list seven phobias that are real and are a little bit weird depending on who you are. Okay, so the first one is amaxophobia. And amaxophobia is the fear of being inside of a vehicle. And this fear can come across because maybe you were in an accident, maybe someone was in an accident, or maybe someone that you knew was in an accident. Whichever it may be, amoxophobia comes around by someone experiencing some kind, of, some kind of trauma inside of a vehicle so they no longer feel safe inside of a vehicle and they feel fear every time they're about to climb into one. The next one is androphobia, and believe it or not, it is the fear of men. And that is actually pretty real. And the reason why some people fear men, mostly women, is because a lot of the time men can be violent in certain situations. You have men out there who hurt women all the time. And so it's not that great of a leap to say that someone can fear men, but the phobia of fearing men is actually real. It is an actual fear, just like fear of heights and whatnot. And I hear a lot of people who say nobody fears men or nobody fears women. And it is true, there are people who do and who grow up that way, which is why androphobia is a real thing. Uh, the next one is arithmophobia. And this is the fear of numbers. Now, there are all kinds of reasons you could fear numbers. Maybe you had a terrible experience in algebra. Or maybe calculus beat you to death. I mean, I know it did the same thing to me, so it might have done it to you. Um, but fear of numbers is real. And for all those people out there who don't believe that it is, it is a real phobia. People are terrified of numbers and so when you meet someone and you're trying to tutor them and they're terrified of doing the work and they act like they're scared, they're not acting like they're scared, they are actually scared of numbers. And there's no telling what experience they went through that made them terrified of numbers, but the truth is there are people who are terrified of numbers, so be careful about that. And it is real. Um, this one is like androphobia, but it's the opposite, and it's gynophobia. And gynophobia is the fear of women, because there are men out there who fear women. And, um, not just men who fear women, but women who fear other women as well. It could be for any reason. Someone grew up fearing their mother, so they fear women. Or a woman hurt them. Either way. Fear of women, fear of men, whichever one you want to talk about the most, they're both real and both weird to some people, which is why they're on this list. Um, the next one I think is really, 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 really weird. I mean, really weird. And that is cathesophobia. And I don't know if I'm saying it right. I know that I struggled to say it probably like 10 times before saying it, but that is the fear of sitting. You heard me right. There are people out there who fear sitting down. I mean, I don't know if I could not sit down. I mean, I guess I could stand up, but I actually kind of like sitting down, you know? And there are people out there who are afraid to sit down. 
and I don't know why that is, but it is a real fear, and it's weird. I'm going to be honest with you. It's a little weird. I mean, why would you not want to sit down in a comfy seat? Although, technically, my seat is not very comfortable. Anyway. The next one I can actually believe is real, but I still think it's weird, and that is decidophobia. And it sounds exactly how it sounds. It is the fear of making decisions. This is a real life fear that I know lots of people have. I know that I don't have a fear of making decisions, but I do hesitate sometimes when I am given the choice of making a decision, and I know people out there who avoid making decisions altogether. I mean, I was in class with a guy who wouldn't make a single decision ever, and he told me it's because he doesn't trust himself to make decisions. And I see that as a little weird, but then to each their own, I guess, right? I mean, if you're terrified of making decisions, why not make them? Uh, why not not make them, you know? And so, um... Decidophobia is real, so if you meet someone who will never make a decision in their life and they're terrified of doing it and they argue with you every time you tell them to do it, they have decidophobia. It's real, okay? And so there are probably hundreds of different articles online that will teach you how to deal with someone who, who is terrified of making decisions, but as of right now, I am labeling decidophobia as a weird phobia to have. Because everyone has to make decisions in life. I mean, come on. Do you cross the street? Do you not cross the street? Do you eat mac and cheese for dinner? Do you not eat mac and cheese for dinner? Do you eat celery or do you eat popcorn? You know, you make your decisions and you got to make it, right? I mean, how do you get by in life without making some kind of decision? Like, if you're going to go to college, you have to make a decision what college you're going to go to. If you're going to drive a car, you have to make a decision where are you going to get your license at? What car are you going to drive? You know, what job are you going to work at? You have to make decisions, so how do you get away with not making decisions? I don't know, but I know that I'm talking too much. So, the last one that I want to talk to you guys about is, if I'm saying it right, mixophobia or myxophobia, one of those. Um, and this is the fear of smiling, and I can actually believe that that is a real phobia. Because there are a lot of people out there terrified of smiling because their teeth are messed up. And I can't be one to talk because I have bad teeth too. But I'm not terrified of smiling. I'm okay with smiling. I mean, the heck with what people think. But there are people out there that are terrified of smiling because they don't want people to look at them weird. No, 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 no. Hold on. We're going to go back over that in a second. Okay, so, as I was saying, mixophobia or myxophobia is the fear of smiling, and I can 100% believe that that is a real thing. I mean, like I said, my teeth are messed up. I know a lot of people whose teeth are messed up, and so they are really nervous and really terrified of smiling because they don't want to be judged or laughed at, and it's a terrible thing. I mean, I've seen people laughed at in front of me that have horrible teeth that are not aligned and whatever and they smile and people are like ew you know and that's not it's okay to be afraid of smiling and so that's a it's a weird phobia I'm going to admit it is a weird phobia because everyone needs to smile I mean if you're happy you should be smiling who cares what your teeth look like they're not anybody else's teeth they're your teeth and you know but those are all the phobias that I have on this list of weird phobias. Uh, let me know down in the comments below which one you think is the weirdest. And um, while you're down there, hit that notification bell so that the next time one of my videos comes out, you guys can get it right away. And also, while you're thinking about it and while I have your attention, Find me on Instagram because I really, really, really need followers. So, it's going to be up here. I'm pretty sure I'm going to put it right here so I don't look stupid. Because if it's not here, 
or in this general area, I'm going to look really stupid pointing this way with people... Nope, never mind. No one's looking at me. So, uh, it'll be up here. And so, that's all I have for you guys. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.